Okay, everybody, it's time for the week three recap. I know everybody's been setting their schedules for this and probably been very excited all day today. So kudos to you for watching this video. For the couple of fucktards who haven't watched any of the, we the uh, weekly videos or this one, um, what can I say? You're a douchebag. Uh, I don't really care about you. Um, got a couple things to go over for this video and uh, obviously as Newbold um, I believe mentioned or maybe it was someone earlier in the week uh, or on Sunday that this was a down Sunday for the league. Um, it definitely was. Uh, it certainly was a down Sunday. We had a bunch of fucking low scores. We had some real pitiful shit like Zach's 49. Um, we also had Cody not being the low score, really, he was the fourth lowest score. So uh, let's all give him a uh, pat on the back for making it out of the bottom of the, the pit. Um, good news for him, he is still going to continue to suck uh, because his team is terrible. Cody, I'm sorry. If you guys didn't go through and look at the um, trash talking we'll put on the forum, I suggest you take a look. He uh, liberally uh, bashes everyone's team and does that pretty fairly I uh, I think so so kudos to you Will for getting in there and being active and uh, talking shit on everybody's team uh, we also had a discussion in there um, and this is not something that we're going to talk about now but um, it looks like we've got some people up in arms about PPR oh my god I don't want to draft a lineman and him catch three balls all year and be worth more than, uh, you know, this lineman, give it a rest, all right? Yeah, you guys are talking about throwing D special teams in here and you're bitching about PPR. Oh, God, we, we're not even going to get there with that uh, because that's going to turn into an hour-long cockfight and nobody wants to see that. So we'll we'll uh, we'll drop that, but and we will go back. There is a poll on there on uh, which of the two and one teams, which we have several, is the least deserving. Right now, I am the front runner with four votes, um, which I would agree with that and say that I do have the worst two and one team by far. Um, I think I have probably have the worst, well, one of the worst teams overall, anyways. Uh, but feel free to get on there and vote for the team that you hate the most. I highly recommend it. Harp's team's on there as well. You can definitely vote for him as being uh, the most worthless team. Whatever you want to do. Make sure you're being active in the league. You are um, responding to trade texts, um, trade offers, proposals. Make sure you're getting in there and posting messages in the forum. It's really nice to see Codina Green in there talking a little bit of shit, you know, getting Mark all riled up. That's really nice to see. Um, you know, so just get in there and, and uh, rough it up. Get in there and get all crazy. We don't have any special guest appearances by any horses this week, so I apologize for that. Um, my PR staff is working on trying to get a league member to the video next week so we can get a uh, just you know a quick Q&A to go through and, and find out how their season's going what things they would change uh, you know just odds and ends like that but it'd be nice to get a little bit of info in there so look for that possibly next week I do have a couple shout outs um, and I'm glad to see these because these were good they they really did uh, make me smile when I saw some of these. Um, I'll go ahead and read off Beans' as first because he is technically in first in the league somehow, God forbid. Um, but, you know, I'll go ahead and read his first. It says, um, Zach has a terrible team. He sucks balls as a fantasy owner and I will beat off in his face next time I see him. Folks, that's really vulgar and vivid, and I love it. That's exactly what we need on these videos. So, Zach, uh, did you hear that? Beans is going to beat off in your face. He's going to give you the money shot, all right? And it's going to be Beans-tastic. Um, oh, also, Beans did mention 
that um, I should call Zach the Scamners for his team name. <laughs> that's fucking brilliant. I love it. So uh, that's the first one that I got from Beans. Congrats to him for getting that shout out in. I also had another one from a one Justin Harper, and this one was pretty long. Uh, he titled it Shout Outs. Um, one of them, the first one says, I'm better than you, you being the league, not just me. I'm the only one averaging over 100 a game, just like Lady Year. Um, now we all know that's autocorrect for last year, but um, I didn't know we had a league going in Lady Year. He says, dot, 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 learn how to fucking play. Two, this is directed at me. Our matchup, I've never lost to you. And I don't, and Harper, you can't type. Never lost to you, and he is looking for that to continue. If this was a jungle, he would be King Dong. <laughs> Good job, Harp. Uh, he also said, everyone should know that wearing a fake mustache increases your chances of getting pussy. Um, that's a side story from last Saturday about Harp. But it does not increase your penis size. And that's also a side story for Harper. Fourth thing he says is, uh, Chris and I plan on breaking some hearts. This will definitely be fat girls. This weekend. Gameplay level will equal hard. I'm not sure what that last part means. I think it's geared towards Woods because he's possibly coming down this weekend. So Woods, uh, gameplay level will equal hard. Keep that in mind. Um, we've got those nice shout outs. Um, I also got one that I got from Mark in person uh, from old Chicago today. He said he wants to give Cody the ultimate visualization of what it's like to have the triangle played on your asshole. Um, follow my finger here. Okay, so that's the triangle. It's like a bronze instrument. And we're setting the environment here to like the um, or we'll say like the 19, uh, early 1900s, we'll say 1907, how about that, uh, in Oklahoma, and we're on a farm, and uh, Mama Jean is trying to wrestle up the cowboys and the kids to get them to come in and eat pork beans and, and some other shit. They're going to run out there to that huge triangle, which is also the same as Cody's asshole, and Mark is actually Mama Jean, and he's just ringing that shit. And it's so, his, his asshole's so gaped, he's just getting all up in there, and he's, I mean, he's, he's going to throw his arm out if he's not careful. So that was the visualization that I got from Mark um, to pass on to Cody and to pass on to everyone else. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's eight minutes long. Sorry. Uh, kiss my ass. Um, like I said, we're going to be looking at possibly getting an interview for um, next next week. So uh, stay tuned. You might get a call from the commission's PR staff. If you do, great. Um, also, Hobbs, uh, about your comment about my shitty webcam. This webcam is free on my free computer. You can lick my balls. If I get another comment from you again, I'm going to stand up here. I'm going to hang these right in front of you. Anyways, everyone have a great night. Peace.